Hi there, I'm Darrell Williams from Python Bytes and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a GUI for Python uh, using WXPython and uh, there, there are two, uh, two ways of making a GUI. You can use uh, Python code or uh, to generate your GUI okay use Python code in conjunction with uh, WXPython or the other option is you use an XRC file so here's Python this is where your Python code goes in WX form builder and then you have here XRC and there's an XRC well XML but it's actually called XRC in WXPython so I'll be showing you how to do this using WX Form Builder. WX Form Builder is excellent for building GUIs. I suggest you download it and uh, start creating GUIs with this excellent program. Okay, so I'll do is I'll show you what I do to start a project uh, when I'm building a, a GUI application and in this case I'll be showing you how to create uh, a WX Python application using XRC. Okay so first of all what I do is I create a project so I've got my chutes here XRC chutes and I've created a folder called frame in there I have FB which stands for form builder and SE stands for source code okay so double click that source code uh, I put my XIC file in this DT file DT meaning data if I have any Im images I'll put it in an image file okay so I'll go into the DT folder and I'll right click and go copy address as text by the way I'm using Windows 10 and then here we have our first our project here and the properties of the project so here I'll call this FB for form builder and go main frame for the knee okay now I copied the path or the directory so what I'm saying is the data directory is where I want my XRC files saved you got here code generation and click that expand it and it's set for C++ we don't want C++ if I was creating uh, a Python GUI meaning WX Python but using Python code to generate the GUI I would click Python but in this case I'm going to click XRC now we can reduce that there and there it is XRC and then what I'll do is I'll click here the name of the project or the application or the frame that we're building at this present time click save and it'll ask me where do I want to save the file so I've got my XRC shoots the frame folder there's a form builder directory then I just paste that's the name of the form builder application or project save that okay that's it so now we'll start creating a frame okay so the way we do that is you go into forms and hover here and you've got frames so we click frame and then in the properties section I'll call that frame main and we go my first frame okay now the size by default it was 500 by 300 so we'll just leave it like that and there's my first frame the title and now uh, with WX form builder you need to put sizes to 
attach the uh, panel to the frame. So this one here, I'll call this the frame. It's called frame main. So I'll go the main frame. Okay. Okay, so this is the sizer. And this should be a sizer item. I believe it is because sizer item and you can put your proportion and the border. Okay, so I'll call this panel main. Okay, so proportion, if that was zero, uh, it won't move. It won't fill the whole, whole uh, frame. We want this to fill the whole frame because we want the panel to fill the whole frame. So we go one. We don't want a border or else you'll see a, this grey line, grey, you'll see a grey line around the panel. I'll show that to you in a minute. And we go border, zero, and I tend to always put all so that it'll do all sides, uh, left, right side, top, bottom, at zero. No space or no border, so to speak. Okay, so now uh, to add the panel, we go panel here. There's the panel in container. So we put the panel, get the panel a name, panel main. Okay, now here we have five. Now, if I was to leave that, and I'll save that, so it has saved this. And then I'll go into the project, uh, project folder. Uh, I haven't given it a name. So I call it MNA. Save that. Okay, I'm calling this MNA, meaning main application. Okay, and then here we generate the code. Okay, so I click generate. And here is our XRC file. And if we go in here to Form Builder, WX Form Builder, here is our XRC code. Not very much information in there. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll call up idle. Idle is the IDE for uh, creating. Uh, your code, your Python code for your scripts. Okay, so I'm going to create a new file here and put the pound sign, go mna.py. I tend to do this so I know what, what the script is for. And what we do is, so in this case, we're going to import wx, that's wx Python. Then you go from wx import. X, XRC, right? So we're using the XRC module and we go class, we go my app, we go WX app, and then we go a function frame. Now this section here, I, I, I used to use Boa Constructor and I found that writing it this way, the code, the application code, works uh, a lot better. So self res equals xrc dot xml source Okay, so as I explained to you here, the XRC file is in the DT folder, the source directory. So it's got DT, then the file. So in the code, Python code, we'll go DT forward slash forward slash, we're in Windows sorry backslash and then you go mna 
x.xrc so there's our xrc file and then we go self now remember we called the frame frame main that's the name of the frame and that equals self res load frame uh, parent is none because the frame is the parent or the application is the parent and then the uh, just go into XRC, the XRC code and just move this across here um, okay there's our frame class there is the name so I'll just copy that I could type it just showing you little tricks and paste it in there frame main and then we have the panel so we call that self panel main equals uh, XR C and in caps XRC CTRL XRC control and you go self frame main so we want to attach the panel to the frame a comma and then if you go to XRC file and go to the panel class it's a panel class there's the name I just double click that rather than paste it and then go to function on net now I've followed this because this is how Boa Constructed has done it and I've just been in the habit of doing it I'm using Python 3 I meant to say that sorry I'm using Python 3 but I'm using a similar code that I use for Boa Constructor so I go frame and it's brackets so there it is there there's frame init okay so I'm saying on initiation run this function here so we go up here and as you're building your uh, XRC application DUI you'll have uh, you might have a text file and you assign it a variable so that you can reference it in your program so you'll have all the uh, uh, widgets that you've assigned a variable to and then if you have a, a menu or buttons uh, you have to bind bind the events and then after that down below here you have functions which will be related to the events uh, but that'll be down the track at the moment we just want to create a frame and then here we go self frame main dot show show the frame and then underneath return true that means yes please show the frame then as in all Python programs we go if double underscore name space equals and then we go double quotes main so if name equals main colon there we go app equals my app false no C no E okay false app main loop and there we go 
So I highlight that, copy it, Control C, save, go to my WX Form Builder XRC folder, my chutes in here in the source, and then in the source folder, I'll go MNA dot pi. Actually, I'll put pi w. That means Windows. So that means if I was to go into the folder, I don't actually have to run it here. Um, but it's a good idea. Just be, uh, I just decided to do that for some reason, but anyway, I use, it's good to have idle, the idle shell, so that we can see if there's any errors, and get the track, track back on that to work out what the problem is, but this should work, so I'll go F5. Ah, there it is there, and you notice this, that's right, you notice this grey area here, that is because we left on the panel, go to the designer panel here, scroll down, we put 5, we don't want a border, we'll make that 0, okay, and check the size because it's not expanding. Ah, right, so we go here to the main frame, look for the size, there's the size there, so highlight, copy that, then I go into main panel, and go size, and paste that in there, save that, and then go in here, It's still doing it. Ah, that's right. Okay, now the beauty of an XRC file is, if you do it in Python, now this is all the code that you have to run in Python. Now this here, all of this here is your GUI. And this is your GUI, uh, GUI using XRC. But, you don't see all of this in your Python script here. There it is there. That's it. All of this would have been added in here. So it would have gone down to about here with the code. Now the beauty of an XRC file is you don't have to make adjustments to your code in here because when you generate okay I'll just run that to explain. So when I ran that before, here's the frame. It should be 500 by 300, okay. Also we had the border for the panel at 5, so we've got this grey area here. We don't want to see that. So I have changed the panel, if I scroll down, border is 0, it's all expand. Now, I saved that, but it didn't change anything. That's because I have to generate the code. So, generate the code. It saves it in here, the DT directory, MNAXRC. It updates it. I don't have to update the code on this file because it's, the XRC file was updated. Now when I press F5 to run it, there we go. We don't have the grey border, and it's 500 by 300. That's it. You have now created your first frame. That is all the code. Uh, if you have any comments or questions in relation to this video, leave a comment below. Okay, I'm Daryl Williams from Python Bytes. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and for now, goodbye.